Hello everyone, my name is Matt Matthew, I really don't mind. And uh, welcome back to my Army Group South campaign in Altus Stone of Vic 1946. And we're beginning a new operation. It's uh, in Stalingrad. Alright, so let's have a look here at this message. Hmm. So we've got some new blood joining us. After rest and retraining, your unit was sent to the front again. <clears throat> uh, General Oberst Paulus Sixth Army is advancing on Stalingrad. We have crossed the this river and are heading towards the very important industrial city on the Volga. Stalingrad is important not only because of its industry, but also because it is the gate to the Caucasus. By taking it, Herzgruppe Sud, uh, Army Group South, can sever the connection between the oil fields of the Caucasus and the rest of the Soviet Union. The Battle of Stalingrad may decide the whole war. Luftlotte IV has been severely strengthened by uh, Flieger's Corps 10, I suppose, yeah, that had been pulled back from Sicily. The Russians know of the importance of this battle as well as both the Army and the Air Force have been strengthened uh, as, oh, as well, and both the Army and Air Force have been strengthened severely. The Luftwaffe will have to do its utmost to support the drive of the 6th Army in this very important battle. Yes, this battle is very important. And you probably could say, yeah, it is part, perhaps, but at least on the uh, Eastern Front, the most one of the most important battles. And, uh, yeah. So that, I'm not sure how large, quite the scale of this map. But uh, here is, uh, I assume, is the Volga River. Uh, does branch off an awful lot here. Is that some kind of flood plain or something? But here is the Volga River. Stalingrad, uh, uh, in any other instance is known as Volgograd and uh, that is its name just as uh, Leningrad is typically known as St. Petersburg uh, I'm not sure why it's called that probably propaganda or some shit I don't know but yeah so it's uh, a little after where we left off in um, uh, from the uh, the Kuban uh, I believe it was that like the 5th or 6th so we haven't had much of a rest. I anticipated that we'd be, we'd be um, starting this campaign in December. Because I knew the battle was did start by this point, and I believe it ends in around February time of 1943. But I don't think we'll be sticking around for that entire time in this uh, operation. So we're here quite early on, where we're still ready to... We're still on our way, and we'll eventually uh, surround the city and perhaps start getting our troops in there. Because uh, I believe, uh, unlike Leningrad... Uh, we intend on setting foot in Stalingrad and taking it by force that way rather than starving them out. Uh, don't, uh, don't take my word on that. Uh, I don't quite know the uh, the history of this battle. I'm not too familiar with the Eastern Front. But anyway, here is our first mission for this operation. September 12th, it's quarter past 11. Not very good weather. Our bombers are preparing a nasty surprise. Uh, a nasty surprise for the Ivans near uh, Vodny. The Soviet supply lines depend on the trade movements. Escort the bombers. So there we go. Fairly uh, low altitude insertion for us. I mean, it's pretty high. It's like in between 15 and 20,000 feet or something like that. Or is it 10,000 feet? I don't know. But yeah, we might be escorting dive bombers or something. That's probably why they're not so high. Uh, hmm, so yeah, there's obviously, we're attacking, here is the city, it's the main industrial, urban part of the city itself, and we're attacking uh, the sort of suburbs, little rural areas around it. We haven't yet set foot in it, because it is very heavily defended. Very, very heavily defended. Especially by, uh, uh, uh by the, uh, by, uh, the ground forces. And, uh, oh, oh yeah, I forgot. Here. Yeah. We're switching aircraft, and we'll get a quick glimpse of them, because I said that I wanted to have a little break from uh, flying the 109s. I believe we will go back to it eventually, but as of right now, we have now been given some new planes that I haven't yet flown yet in the game, so I'm probably going to be dead crap. These are Focke Wolf 190s, the A4 version, so not the absolute first production variant, so the slightly improved version, I believe. Yes, let's get a look at this, shall we? Mm hmm. Alright. I'm not sure if, uh, uh, y uh de Swider 1, my, fl uh, JG1 actually flew Focke Wolves. So I don't know. I don't think they, I'm not sure if they did. Uh, they might have done both. But typically, a squadron would, f would favour one type of aircraft over the other ones and wouldn't really switch. So, yeah. 
Let's uh, get this going here. Nice aircraft. I mean, the BF109, you thought the BF109 was, was great, you know, it was easy to fly and everything like that. Uh, this one is perhaps even easier, perhaps superior to the 109, although it never fully replaced the 109, and I don't, I don't believe that was the intention of it. So here we go. Oh, I can change the weapons. Oh yeah, of course, because um, I'm, um, I'm one of the leaders now, so I can choose the weapon. I can't choose this flight, but I can choose my flight's weapons here. But uh, I'm just going to leave them default because the, the game knows what it's doing. Yes. Mm -hmm. So it's a nice simple escort mission to get us uh, to get me familiar with the aircraft. Yeah. So uh, yeah, let's get on into this mission, shall we? Alright, here we are. And uh, since uh, this is the first time I've seen this aircraft, I'll, link, I'll include uh, uh, a landing and takeoff or two. Yeah, look at this. Very pretty indeed. I think everybody taking off with us today is uh, Focker Wolves. Yep. And uh, yeah. Have we got time to talk? Yes, I have got time to talk. <laughs> so there's some bombers ahead uh, in f uh, above us. There's also another group on their way there, unless they're coming back from a mission. Yeah, we're going into Stalingrad. And uh, these are uh, pretty heavily fortified pretty heavily fortified here and uh, yeah so uh, very little room for error mm. and also they've got all these airfields around us nearby so uh, yeah it's gonna be a long flight because we're all out here we they probably might transfer us uh, closer uh, later on in the operation right mm -hmm. anyway I better start concentrating now Hold it on. How's it all like it there? Mm -hmm. Why is it all laggy again? I don't know. Anyway, here's my Z and X keys. I've assigned to uh, raise up and down so I can see past my big old nose here. But look at these! Look at this cockpit. Lovely looking thing this is. Can I open the canopy in this? No, I can't. Well, at least I can't like, uh, like casually anyway. Right, am I free to move? Yep, more or less. So no automatic radiator in this. So. Uh, yeah, I'm gonna leave it closed just to reduce the drag. So I'm gonna have to monitor the end that the engine that way. But uh, mixture and RPM is still automatic. Oh, I seem to have uh, I seem to be limited to, to that amount of power. Is the rest emergency power? I don't know. Yeah, sounds lovely though, and look at the cockpit as well. It's so nice to see all the instruments and everything. Got a nice good view of the of the compass, the uh, the variometer, the, the speedo, and uh, the uh, the artificial horizon. Lovely aircraft. Oh, don't want that. Oh, we we're escorting some Heinkels. Oh, sounds great. Sounds powerful. I haven't got that annoying klaxon either telling me to raise everything because I'm in the air. Oh, lovely. Has this got aileron trim? Let's have a look. Has this got aileron trim? Oh, bit of lag there. Probably because of the amount of bombers that are uh, in the sky. It's quite a lot. <laughs> and also there's clouds. I can't. I need to find a good point to a test for aileron trim. No. So no, I don't think German aircraft ever did, did they? I don't know. So I've got a smaller gun sight there, but uh, it's not a problem. I can means I'm able to see more easily out of the front. Although the, uh, the 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 sort of bars, the pillars here in the front are quite thick. But anyway, oh, there we go. Everything's calmed down now. <laughs> so got a very long way to go here. So uh, you, won't, I won't, you won't see all this. Well, I'm going to fast forward now until there's uh, some action. All right, here we are. We're almost over Stalingrad right now. I've run into some hurricanes down below. Got my uh, got my cronies here still following me. Ah, nice, good view here. Nice canopy. That's going to help in spotting planes. Uh, I believe our bombers should hopefully be doing their job, but they're simply under attack and we've left them escorted, uh, unescorted for some reason, but uh, I can't criticise the, the squadron leader for what his decisions. Right, let me go down low and join my friends. Ooh, perhaps not so fast. 
and pull into Tri G's. <laughs> wow, are those the flipping? What the fuck are they? Are they cannons? Jeez, well, oh no, it's probably some kind of uh, navigation equipment measure and thing. Where did they go? Here we are now, with the go. Let's have it. Oh, they're all gone. Oh, they're mostly gone, anyway. Right, let's go do our bloody job and flip in, um, go and uh, protect our. Might as well open the whole radiator, because this thing's bloody fast, I don't care. I was going to leave the radiator open. Right, sounds beautiful though, this aircraft. Whoa. I'm going to assume it has. It's designed for the same role as the 109, so I'm going to assume it handles similarly. And what we're we going up against here, we've got some lag. Some on my left. Uh, what else we got? Something on my right, which is turning towards me. I can't see them. Are they down low? Oh, their lags down low. They're attacking the bombers. Where's this group of lags? Here they are. Right then, let's let's get started on this. Oh, we've lost somebody. Oh, pulling a massive high G turn here. Oh, God. I've got anybody on my tail. No, I seem to be safe. Alright then, we're catching up. Oh, dear. There's one coming to join me. But I'm going to go after this one. I'm going to go after this one, the leader. I'm going after the leader. He's going to be the most threatening, but I'm going so fast. Where is he? Where is he? Where is he? I don't know why I can't go 100% power. Is the, is the rest like emergency power? I need to press a button for it. Right, oh, it's the supercharger automatic. Yeah, the supercharger is automatic. Oh, I'm in a dogfight with him. Not ideal. But he's also in not in, not in a dogfighting aircraft. So perhaps we're even. Right. Oh dear, these clouds are working wonders with my computer. <laughs> I let the bugger go. Can't fucking see a thing. No wonder friendly fire is a problem. Nine. All right, that's the bomb that's gone down. Where are, the rest of, where are they going? Are they all crash landing or some shit? Right. Apparently, there's one more. He's over here somewhere. I want to get below these clouds, but that puts me at risk of the flak. That. Uh, and also it gives me less room to manoeuvre. I'm going very fast. Why are these clouds so bloody low? There's one more around here somewhere. There's my there's one of my wingmen. Here's the rest of the bombers. Right, who's that up there? There's the bombers again. Perhaps they're gonna stick with the bombers then, are they? Right, okay, now he's behind me. Bloody hell. Pissing else going on. I hate this weather so much. Oh, oh, hello, number eight. Oh, they come back to join me, even though I haven't told them to. Right, is anybody left? Oh, alright. Well, there's nobody left. Hmm. I do, how many bombers did we lose? I, I didn't count. Right, then, well, I might as well ask everyone to come back and join me. So you go to navigation and. Oh, no, not there. Uh, what's it? Uh, tactical. Yeah, tactical and rejoin. Well, they're all alive. That's good. <laughs> right, let's go back to join the bombers then, shall we? <laughs> Looks like that's going to be everything. They must have. They probably must have hit their targets. They're not coming around from another pass. I'm going to assume those, this, these are my wingmen coming back to join me. These must be other bombers. Hmm. Not bad. So I didn't actually hit anything because I got too distracted by clouds and um, by which one to choose and also my frame rate going a bit dodgy there. But it looks like uh, we're okay. We outnumbered them, I think. We were against uh, a bunch of hurricanes and lags. Maybe a yak or two I didn't see. So, yeah, they didn't send their best up against us. But uh, I'm sure their best is, is yet to come. So, yeah, you're going to see me for the debrief. All right, here we are in the debrief. Uh, landed all right. I, I did say I was going to include a landing, uh, but I, 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 I realised I forgot. So uh, I will be sure to include that a landing in this video. 
Lands fairly similarly to uh, the 109, same sort of speeds and everything, same kind of handling. So yeah, shouldn't take too long for me to adjust to the new aircraft. But anyway. Alright, you're an effective combat pilot and your results demonstrate it. So yeah, I didn't get to kill anything. Uh, but we certainly managed to uh, dispose of whatever air forces uh, w had been scrambled to meet us. And did the bombers reach their targets? They were attacking railroads and stuff, weren't they? They uh, hit. They disabled this train, although it's not that far from Stalingrad, so I probably assume that they're probably just going to get it again. They didn't hit anything over here. Hmm. <laughs> we lost one plane in this mission. I believe that refers to our squadron. Uh, or at least to fight the fighters. Does it? I definitely heard the message for one. Can't see where it is. It's mixed in there somewhere. And the enemy lost their eight planes. So there's some hurricanes out there, some lags. Uh, oh, yeah, that train. Alright. Mm <laughs> hmm. So let's hope for a more prosperous mission next time. Let's have a look and see what it says. Hmm. Right. Oh, this looks different. Uh, so this guy got promoted, these guys got uh, medals. In a decisive victory, our troops have taken uh, Vasilyevka. That over here, this looks new. Yeah, this definitely looks new. Aha. Uh -huh. So it's uh, now it's September 14th, 7 o'clock in the morning. Hmm, weather seems to be okay. Our friends from the strike group are performing an attack in the uh, Pitomnik area, Pitomnik area, over here. Air raids will prevent the enemy from taking off. Force enemy fighters away from our attack planes. Ah, so are we supporting Stukas or perhaps some uh, older, uh, perhaps some uh, old 109 variants from earlier in the war that have been converted into fighter bombers? Should be interesting. Oh, it's a smaller flight group. It's just me. So I'm leading this entire operation, this entire mission. So uh, this will be interesting. Sounds like it'll be challenging too. So we're going in fairly high to escort the bombers. So perhaps there might, there might be um, hind calls again. Right. When was our last kill? 5th of September. So that was when we were in the Kuban. So it really hasn't been that long, has it? But anyway, uh, let's get on into this mission, shall we? Alright, I'm back. And uh, we seem to have some Italians with us. Because uh, I'm seeing some uh, MC202s, and I'm hearing a very, very, very loud and very harsh on the ears radios. Oh god, that's very harsh on the ears. It's not very. Right, we've got some I16s. Uh, but, oh, right, turn, yeah, turn that down. Set them. I've uh, made them broke off. And uh, so yeah, it looks like yeah we are escorting, escorting some Stukas. I believe they probably might be Italian Stukas. Oh, nice job. Uh, Number three, well done. Of course, I'm number one now because uh, we're the only flight group that's up. So, yeah, apologies for the very, very loud uh, Italian radios. <laughs> oh, there's, ooh, don't want to fly over that airfield there. Is that the one they're attacking? Where's the rest of them? Where are they? Where are the lighters? So, there's my group. There's my guys. Over oh, they're over there. Better go and help them out. Right, I'm on my way. Do, do, do. Right, I don't like these low clouds. What have we got here? We've got an I-16. Well, we've got a couple of I-16s. Wait. I saw something then. Oh, he's below me. Okay, so they, they're delving with them okay. Ooh, that's it. Go on, get him. I'm going to come down and help them anyway. Is he going down? Couldn't tell. He's stalling. I can see the... Oh no, those are my guys. There he is. I'm going to dive on the chap. Oh, shut up. <laughs> oh. Did he hit the ground? So, yeah, he hit the ground. So got one. Oh god. Oh. Oh. He lost his wind there. So I hit the ground. Please, I'm going to stall out. There we go. Right, is there anybody left? Uh, no, there's no, nobody left. Well, that was quick, wasn't it? <laughs> Again, I didn't actually get a chance to put this thing through its paces and uh, shoot somebody. 
But, uh, oh well, at least my wingmen did it for me. I directed them all to um, attack. So let's get them all back. Tactical. Rejoin. Here they go, here they come. Well, it looks like we're going to have to uh, carry on flying over to uh, escort the bombers and follow our waypoints. So, uh, yeah. You will see me if anything bad happens or uh, when I'm ready to land. I am done the land yet, so I'll show, I'll show you the land. Anyway, I'm going to skip ahead now until uh, that point or if something else happens. Alright, here we go. It's been ages since I've recorded a landing. I, I have been doing some like when I haven't been able to trust the, uh, the AI to do it for me. Oh dear. Somebody uh, crashed there in the uh, Italian group. Alright, coming in way too quick here. Looks like I've got plenty of runway to slow me down. Oh dear. There yeah, should be landing at the same sort of speed as the 109s, but I'm coming in far too hot. Oh dear. Big old bounce there. Oh, another big old bounce. I'm going to run off the edge of the runway. I'm going to have to take off again. Oh, go on, take off. Oh, shit. Oh. Oh, dear. I tried to take off again. <laughs> well, I better get the fuck out of that. Quick, 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 quick. Oh, 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 oh. Come on, quick, 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 quick. Fuel tank's like right behind him. Well, that's probably one of the reasons why I don't record those or do them myself that much anymore. <laughs> so, yeah, I'll be sure to promise an actual landing. Whoa. Oh, watch out for that sunshine. Oh, dear. <laughs> so, yeah, I was coming in far too hot then. So, mm. so, yeah, it doesn't slow down as fast as the 109, I will say. I was I was coming in okay. I probably should have bleeded off some speed with the rudder or something, or done some big turns on the way to the runway. But here's my oh, I've been picked up now. Here's my the rest of my flight. I told them to go and land whilst I was on approach, but and then I got clearance. But obviously I didn't need that. So yeah, not good for go arounds. Uh, the one for the one ninety, especially on a grass runway, and if you're surrounded by grass, uh, yeah, I should have gone. I should have done that properly. <laughs> But anyway, it's time to end this mission. The uh, the Italians and their little German support has made it back okay. They did send up some reinforcements, but uh, they dealt with those. Right, have a look at this. All right, so there you go. There's my first F-190 uh, casualty. <laughs> so, uh, yeah, here's my troop. Uh, the enemy lost six planes. Uh, obviously, we killed four or however many I-16s there were. And then... Um, and then the rest, the Italians and the other chaps, yeah, see here, the Italians and other things uh, shot down the rest. So we did lose a couple of uh, dive bombers on the way there. Apparently we lost some over here. Something happened over here. Not sure what that was. And then, of course, there's me where I botched my landing. They could be much better, but it could be much worse. Right. Oh, dear. So then I've got time to squeeze in another mission here, and hopefully this time I'll include the landing. <laughs> a real landing. So we've got here. So we've got some new blood. Uh, Burmester has been promoted. He was under my wing. <laughs> oh, we've got some more changes here. Our glorious forces now control uh, Otkiabriski. Uh, where's that? This looks somewhere up here. Is it? Unless it's down here. Oh, here. This is quite a big town here. So yeah, we've taken quite a bit of ground here. I believe eventually we will uh, probably reach the Volga, and then uh, and then just focus, and then just sort of blockade this sort of bit here. But yeah, we're advancing quite nicely now. Uh, hmm. So what's this mission? So it's 16th September. It's in the morning. Low altitude insertion for uh, for uh, German fighters. Army intelligence suggests that v the VVS may attack. No, Ozerki today. Provide fire to cover for our supply columns. Alright, so it's going to be one of these things there. Looks like this quite important uh, town. Hmm, and there's the rest of us today, so a bit more reassured that we should be okay to deal with whatever comes at us. Alright, 
So let's get on with this mission, shall we? Alright, here we are, over our patrol area. There's a massive flight of bombers, which should be easy targets for us, because they're not... And there's a, a small uh, fighter escort of yaks. I might as well go for this one on my way down here. Let's test out the guns on this bad boy. Although, um, not a very favourable angle here. Bastard. Oh. Right. Alright, I've had enough of him. Although I better break or something so that he doesn't get on my tail. There he is. Seems to be leaving me alone. Hmm. Now, which group of bombers do I go after? I don't like these because these have gunners. My flight seems to be handling them. Oh, I got that kill for that yak. Oh, that's nice. Anyway, come on then. Uh, I'm gonna, I'm gonna tell my uh, guys to attack the bombers. A weird noise he's making. So seven is gonna help me with the bombers, and then the other two, my wingman and pals, are gonna help me. We're going to cover us from the last of those yanks. Is it pretty nasty? I can't see a pissing thing. Right, coming up below them, which should help us. Should help. Oh, no, they've dropped their bombs. Well, I might as well try and take some shots. Come here, little bastard. Right, best I can do is... Uh, oh, they're like little dauntlesses. I don't know, quite know what they are. Oh, no, they're like... They're, they're, they're kind of similar to the... Uh, TBF Avenger. We've got like a little ball turret. But a do like a dorsal ball turret protecting the chap. Right. Are they dive bombing? I can't tell what they're doing. Right, I better snap door though. I need to go and piss and shoot something. <laughs> right, let's get on this guy's tail. Oh, I'm already out of cannon ammunition. Oh, shit, shit, shit. Oh, oh, oh. Well, my cannon ammunition didn't last very long. How much bloody ammunition do I have? I've got barely any. You see, look, look at the look at the out counters. I've got two cannons, which is nice, but I've got barely any ammunition. Oh yeah, one of my chaps got a kill. That's good. He'll eventually switch to the bombers once the fighters are dealt with, or unless it's just going after targets of opportunity. Oh, do I have a rescue dimmer? Yes, yes, my swag dimmer. He's very low, but he's close. What's he doing? Yeah, he's very... Oh, no! Get away! <laughs> right, I've really got to watch my ammunition here. Well, I think I've only got cannons. I think... Uh, the, the, the other other ones might be um, just heavier cannons. And then I've got a couple of nose cannons or something. Alright, I really need to piss him and shoot some of these bombers. <laughs> I don't know why I'm finding this so hard. They're normally really easy to kill if you watch out for their goodness. I just can't get a good angle on them. Alright, here's a couple in formation. Right. Let me get round. Oh, I've got somebody. Hey. Well, they've pretty much done their job. They've managed to hit that transport column, but hopefully if, if they don't make it home, they can't do it again. Oh, there's this guy here, actually. Let's get on his tail instead. Gunners don't seem to be attacking me that much, which is a relief. Perhaps I'm not getting a favourable angle on them. They can't shoot directly behind or something. Right, let's get on this bad boy's tail. Must have ammunition, but that was—they're pretty powerful uh, main guns. Right, let's get out of this cloud. Hey, there's another one for me. I got the time to turn up now. Right, who's left? Just a couple of bombers left. There's one here by himself. Uh, are my wingmen with me? I can't tell. 
where'd this bastard go? Here he is, it's one of the newbies. Well, he's, he, I assume he is since he's the last in the squadron. All right, we're going a bit quick on him. And I've only got a handful of... I've only got a handful of bullets left because I've wasted quite a lot. So I've got to be more sparing. I've got more powerful guns, but I've got to be sparing because uh, the ammunition's heavier. Oh, I took a hit. Got him. Well, I'm doing quite well. I don't want to jinx it though. Uh, have I got any? I've got. Uh, I think I've got a smidgen of ammunition left, but uh, no need because we've done our duty. Now all that's left is to. Um, oh, there's some 109s joining us too. That's nice. Uh, I didn't check behind me to see whether there was anything left. All right. So, uh, hmm. All right. Yeah, I think I'm just going to go back to the airfield now. I need to show you a, a proper landing, so uh, even though I've run over time a little bit. So yeah, you'll see me for my landing. All right, here I am coming in for my approach. I'm a lot slower this time, which is good. Let's bring things down a bit. There's actually a, a group of fighters or some enemy fighters that were attacking the airfield earlier, but uh, it seemed to have dealt with them just fine. Cause a bit of drag here with the rudder. And pulling up isn't going to help either. Again, I'm going really quick. <laughs> just does not want me to land this bloody thing, does it? But you just saw that I was—I had slowed down nicely, and it just—it just gained speed. It just—it dives far too easily. It get, yeah, it gains speed in the dive far too easily. Well, that's a bit of a miserable. E well, it's a bit close, uh, sunshine. What if it explodes? Uh, it's a bit of a miserable end of this mission. Although I did shoot a lot of the, of the a lot of planes down, I got a couple of fighters, I believe, and then the rest of bombers, and we took down all of them in that that we saw in the area. Right. Well, they're gonna have trouble landing. But yeah, this thing dives like a motherfucker, which is uh, a bit of a problem for landing. Although I suppose I've just got to be even more careful. Whoa, that was very close. But uh, I'm out of the way now. I've, I've already commanded everybody else to land, so uh, let's get on over into the uh, the briefing. I suppose yeah, you can watch me as it, this as we get over there. Oh dear! <laughs> so yeah, look at all the planes we shot down. Uh, right, so uh, Weinberger got three kills. He was leading the other flight. Uh, I imagine under his command, uh, another guy got killed. I got four kills. Nice. I had a bit of a dry spell, but of course I crash landed, which is uh, not good. Uh, unfortunately, somebody crashed over there. Uh, I believe some of these are some of these are my wingmen. They got kills too. It's a fine mission. You make good progress as a combat pilot. We lost two planes, being um, um, uh, whatever this one was. Was it? Oh no, uh, being that this 109 that crashed for some reason, and then me who uh, crash landed. And the enemy lost 15 planes. That's terrible. They, they sent a couple of old MIGs to attack our airfield, but uh, not much of a success there. Alright, so I've run over plenty now, so uh, I'm going to call the video here. Thank you very much for watching, I hope you enjoyed it, and uh, yeah, I'm getting started now on the next operation, Stalingrad. Ooh. I doubt we'll stick around until December, I think we might stick around for like a month or so, and then it'll move us on to either a different leg, probably like either a winter Stalingrad in January, or on some other kind of mission, where basically we're going back the way we came. So yeah. Thank you very much for watching. I hope you enjoyed it. Be sure to like, comment, favor, subscribe, any of all that. I really appreciate it. And I will see you in the next episode. Goodbye.